hello everyone so in this video we will learn how to calculate eigenvalues and eigenvectors let's say each n cross n square matrix then lambda is the eigenvalue of a if there is a non zero non zero vector say x such that ax is equal to lambda x so a is the matrix x is the eigen vector here lambda is eigen value which is a scalar multiplied with the x so when you find such vector which is multiplied by matrix a you get that vector multiplied by the scalar quantity so this is scalar quantity is eigen value and this x is eigen vector eigen vector so let's see uh suppose you have a vector let's say x and y you have this vector so this lambda is basically the scaling this vector suppose if lambda is uh half let's say lambda is half that means that it is shrinking this vector to this value If lambda is two, this is extending this vector here up to here means two times. And if this vector goes in the negative direction, so we say that the eigenvalues for this vector is negative. And here, if the magnitude is same of that vector, we can say the eigenvalue is minus one. So basically. you are just uh scaling the eigen vector okay so this equation now can be written as a minus lambda if we take x out of this it will be zero since lambda is the scalar number so we cannot subtract a number from a matrix so we have to make it identity matrix So a minus lambda i x is equal to zero. Let's say this is b. So b x is equal to zero. Suppose if b is the invertible matrix, uh, then x should be zero. But we know that the x is non-zero. so b should not be in vertical matrix in vertical matrix that means that the determinant of b determinant of b should be zero hence a minus lambda i is equal to 0 so by solving this determinant you can calculate the value of lambda that means you can calculate the eigen values so now let's take an example suppose the matrix a is given by a to -4 and minus 5 so so calculate a minus lambda i that will be 1 minus lambda minus 4 2 minus 5 minus lambda is equal to 0 so let's solve this determinant 1 minus lambda multiplied by minus 5 minus lambda 
वन माइनस लैमडा माइनस फाइव माइनस लैमडा देन माइनस साइन एंड मल्टीप्लाई दिस डायगनल फॉर माइनस साइन माइनस फोर इंटू टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो ऑन सॉल्विंग यू विल गेट लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव लैमडा माइनस लैमडा माइनस फाइव प्लस एट इक्वल टू जीरो लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस फोर लैमडा एट माइनस फाइव प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री लैमडा प्लस लैमडा प्लस थ्री is equal to zero. How we have to in multiplication we have to get three, and the sum should be four. So three into one is three, and three plus one is four. So lambda, let's lambda take common. So this is lambda plus three. One common lambda plus three. So lambda plus three, lambda plus one. Is equal to zero. Since this equation is quadratic, so you will get two eigenvalues, which are lambda is equal to minus three, minus one. Now put the value of lambda in every equation, which is a minus lambda i x is equal to Zero. So a minus lambda i will be. This will be one minus minus one minus four two minus five minus minus one. X can be written as. x1 x2 vector and we can write zero as like this okay so this will be 2 minus 4 2 this is minus minus plus so minus 4 x1 x2 is equal to 0 so now let's apply row reduction so we can write r2 is equal to r2 minus r1 so if we apply this this row will be 0 So two minus four, R two minus R one, zero, zero, x one, x two, is equal to zero, zero. Let's multiply this. So this will be two uh, x one minus four x two. Is equal to zero, and when you apply this row, it will be zero. So two x one minus two x two is equal to zero. So x one is equal to two x two. Since there are two variables and there is only one equation, it means that this equation will have infinite solution. So let's say x two is equal to one. Then x one is equal to two. All right. So eigen vectors x one and x two is equal to two one. Similarly, you can calculate by 
calculate for the other eigen values lambda is equal to minus 3 the pr procedure will be same and if you want to normalize this uh, x1 x2 then you can write x1 x2 is equal to this will be 1 square 1 plus 2 square 1 by root 5 2 and 1 so in this way we have calculated eigenvalues and eigenvectors so this uh, in this example we have taken 2 by 2 matrix you can also take 3 by 3 matrix and calculate in the similar way